the show, we're joined by award-winning actor and producer Luca Malacrino. This is Game On. <laughs> Luca, thank you so much for joining us. You're about 10 miles away there in the hills of Los Angeles. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm coping. Uh, luckily, the weather is beautiful and uh, a little bit nervous as I've been asked to bring some... Oh, we'll come to that later on. Right, okay. well, you were meant to be here in LA, were you? You were meant to be back in the UK at this time. Yeah, I was meant to be moving back to the UK for a few months, uh, working on a film called The Sanctuary for Water Bowls, filming in Wales. Um, but obviously, I'm back here in LA. And what was the film that you were meant to be doing? Uh, it's a, a feature film that um, uh, I'm producing, ready for next year, so we're kind of going into pre-production at the moment. Um, it's a family indie. Um, based on a big, crazy Welsh family. Well, you don't like to let your Welsh accent show them, do you? Oh, I don't mind it. I mean, I feel like it comes in every now and then, normally after a beer or two. I mean, Italian as well. Yeah, a bit of Italian every now and then. That's after a glass of wine or two instead. Okay, Italian wine, of course. Obviously. Obviously. What's your favorite wine? Ooh, um, I think a nice, Amarone is nice. Yeah. A heavy, you know, a heavy wine. Um, a little Montepulciano Puchano's good. How many bottles have you been getting through during this quarantine time? No, 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 definitely. I've been definitely having an extra glass of wine uh, most evenings um, while uh, having some food or watching a film. And it's helping, and yeah, wine always helps. One glass of wine a day is good, apparently. So. Good for the blood, they say. Good Red wine. Yes. I'm excited to be back in the UK. I was. I was really excited. I was excited to see my family. I was excited to... Uh, be on the other side of the pond for a bit and, you know, auditioning out there. Um, and why Birmingham? Well, because it's close enough to London. Uh, I have family and friends there, um, but it's not in London, London. So uh, I wanted it somewhere just out so I can have my own space and own time to go through my work. But I could just jump on a train and, uh, and get to an audition without an issue. Can you do the Brummie accent? Uh, I have to practice it first. Maybe I'll slip it in later. So you've been playing darts in the background then, have you, during this time too? <laughs> I'm actually a, a pro. Oh, wow. Yeah, didn't even look. Shane I, can't even see the screen. You know, it was probably a bullseye. Oh, it was definitely. Yeah, it was a bullseye. It was a bullseye. <laughs> the horn, which means that it is time for our quarantine quiz. Oh, boy. This is designed to find out a little bit more about what Luke has been up to during this quarantine period. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Bring yeah. it on. <laughs> it's very easy. PJs or jeans? PJs. <laughs> Cooking every. or take out? Cooking every day. <laughs> shower or a quick splash? Uh, every two days. Shower probably, yeah. <laughs> Hulu or Prime? Prime. Popcorn or ice cream? Well, British popcorn or American popcorn? Because if it's British, it's definitely popcorn. Otherwise, <laughs> ice cream. All right. Drugs or alcohol? Whoa, what are we talking? Are we talking a little cannabis? Are we talking a little glass of vino? I mean, both help. Music or books? Oh, you can't do that to me. At the moment, books. I've been listening to more books. FaceTime or Zoom? Zoom. All right. Weights or yoga? Actually, yoga. I've never done it. And my goal for the year was to touch my toes, which shows you how bad my flexibility is. And uh, I can now touch my toes. You can? Yeah, I can. I'm, I'm doing the yoga program with Adrian that I feel like everyone knows. Next option is to get the hands flat on the floor, okay? Yeah, all right, give me it, give me it. <laughs> Next one, peace and quiet or a party? Peace and quiet or a party? Come on. Party. <laughs> Whatever first comes into your head. All right, all right. Really walk or a run? Walk. TV or film? Film. Productive or procrastinate? Productive, daytime, procrastinate evening. <laughs> Grounded or anxious? Blinded by groundness. Acting or producing? Uh, it's been mixed. It's been mixed right now. It has. Trim or grow? That's your last one. Oh, well, both again. My, I've let my roommate trim the side of my hair. Did a pretty good job, actually. And then I'm letting the top grow because I just don't trust him chopping the chopping it. <laughs> pretty long, actually. Oh, oh yeah. God. Other the pinball machine buzzer going on now, which means, perfect timing, it's time for our first game. So, you're gonna see on the screen right now a number of different games, and I'd like you to pick one of them that you want to play. Okay. So which is it gonna be? Ooh. Uh, well, I've had a pretty good bit of practice recently, so I have to go with 
Heads up, please, Louise. Then we're going to go head to head to see who can win the most points. All right. I'm guessing you have your phone there ready for me. Do you have to do these? You should do one. I say we do animals. Let's do animals. Uh, okay, I'm in. Uh, uh, sting like a... Bzzz, a really nasty bugger. Wasp. Yes. Uh, uh, um, uh, a Christmas, Coca-Cola advert, um, lives in the snow. Santa, Santa Claus. No, lives Why in the, the snow, it's an animal. Oh, <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> no, as in, uh, it, it, it can hurt you, it's a bear. What kind of bear that lives in the a, snow? Grizzly bear, a, a polar bear. <laughs> no. Oh no, okay, uh, it's also something you can have on your face that goes oh. underground. Oh, a mole. An animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, it's two. I'm gonna. It's two words. The first part is something with big horns that like can nail people really bad. Uh, also, big animal. There's a oh, famous yeah. center in in Birmingham called the. Okay, Luca. I got three. You've only got to beat that. Let's see. Let's let's check it out. <laughs> Oh my goodness, pass. <laughs> okay, we were talking about these that, that live in the snow, but this polar one bear. is... Pardon? A penguin, polar bear. No, the, yes, but a different type of uh, one. A grizzly bear. Yes. Okay. Um, you can eat these with champagne. There's something that you crack uh, over. Oysters. You a poil. Yeah. yeah. Um, pass. Oh, I didn't know the pass. Okay, they're a, a bigger version of a um, a chimpanzee. A, a gorilla. And, no, but they're they're of a certain color. The first the word starts with a color. A blue that, blue. That be associated with the color of the sun. Uh, yellow. No, one the other color. Of the sun. An orange chimpanzee, orange gorilla. Um, but yes, they. they um, oh my God, <laughs> how would you describe them? They, uh, <laughs> orange, orange monkey. What was that last word? Like uh, orangutan. Oh my word. <laughs> I don't know who's won, but it was fun. Just watching you do those was pretty, pretty good. <laughs> pretty entertaining. So apart from uh, maybe playing silly games, what else have you been getting up to in quarantine time? I have been, uh, well, some work. I've been catching up on work and I've uh, been doing a lot of writing, uh, finishing up a script at the moment, um, a thriller, which has been fun. Uh, I've been doing yoga. And I've been allowing myself to be productive and do work during the day. But then if there's been some days where I've just felt like, you know, it's a bit too much at the moment, I've allowed myself to have a couple of hours to do something else instead, whether it's, you know, binge watch a TV series or catch up on some movies that I should have watched that I haven't seen. And um, I'm just watching all the old time shows at the moment. I'm watching Friends again. I'm watching Schitt's Creek, which is pretty good. Um, the Office, any episode is always fun. Um, and just kind of self care time is actually really important as well, isn't it? For kids, it's like keeping our, our mind stable, and and I think that's why people have taken up activities as well because it's actually good to get those creative juices flowing because you're not getting stimulants from the outside world. Mm -hmm. No, I completely, completely agree. Um, and I do think you know, I keep myself busy just doing stuff sometimes, whether it's you know, cooking and doing something because it's maybe a coping mechanism, you know, to like block everything out. And it works for me at the moment. So I'm gonna try my You've best. You've done a lot, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I've been really enjoying it. I made uh, uh, with my roommate at the homemade gnocchi last night, which was fun. So uh, we did it with a, a brown butter sauce, slightly fried with Brussels sprouts. It was, oh, wow. I ate way too much. I ended up looking like a piece of gnocchi this morning. <laughs> One fun. I wish I could come around for dinner. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Which means it is your opportunity to build the time tower. So before you came onto the show, I asked you to put in front of you six pens, three rubber bands, if you didn't have them, some tape, some sanitizer. Cost me 20 grand, just so you know. Well, I'm glad that you're prepared. Thank you very much. A pair of gloves and also a piece of chocolate. Oh, I haven't got just any chocolate. 
have British dairy milk quality streets. What you have to do is build the tallest tower that you possibly can wearing the gloves in as short a time as possible. Using this stuff here? Using that stuff there. And the chocolate has got to balance on the top. And it's got to be standing at the end with the chocolate balance before we're able to stop the stopwatch. <laughs> Thanks for adjusting the camera. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Your challenge starts now. How good are you at doing things like this, Luca? Oh, no, I don't think I've ever done something like this. <laughs> All right. Well, we get a little insight into how your mind works. Okay, I'm trying to get the heaviest pens at the bottom. However, this could help the people in front, so I'm not going to do that, sorry, Louise. Nice try, though. <laughs> okay. going to give away your secrets, huh? Exactly. Okay. Do you think while you're doing that, you can tell us a little bit more about what you've got coming up when we get out of quarantine? Well, I think the match are you. I'm trying to do this. Um, yeah, I can tell you that. I am shooting a thriller over here called... Oh, it's like a social contract, which we're filming in September time. Um, it's a politically contained thriller. And now I'm going to keep building this. Give me one sec. <laughs> it's the chocolate that's going to be the tough part. Um, the chocolate has got to balance on the top, and the whole yeah. thing's got to be standing at the end before we're able to stop the timer. You're a minute in already. Thank you for that. I was expecting this to be a minute long game. What? No way! <laughs> when I had practice this at home, I did it in a minute. Oh, well, it looks like I've failed this already then. Great. Yeah, but how tall was yours? <laughs> How tall was mine? It was probably about that tall. So yeah, if you can go higher than that. You'll see. Yeah. Uh, Depends whether you want to win points or height or on time. Get all the other people that are in the show. So you've got a thriller that you're shooting in September. That's great. Yes, yes, yes. Um, one, your films or is this... Um, uh, this is just one of my films, yeah, with Alex, with the chameleon effect. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to use the other two pens yet because it's time. I'm going to literally... Oh. oh, come on. I don't know if I can allow that. I did say balance on the top. Oh, it's balancing. Look at that. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It could not be balanced anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! <laughs> Okay, stop. <laughs> All right, two minutes 18. <laughs> Did not see that. That definitely stayed up. It stayed up for long enough. We'll give you that one. Two minutes 18. Congratulations. You now get to eat the chocolate. Oh, chocolate's amazing. <laughs> Currently first place, not doing too badly. Well, I mean, I'm the first person. It's one out of one, right? So. But I'm sure some people can do it quicker than two minutes and 18 seconds. Thank you so much for being on our show, Luca. We wish you the best of luck. Have fun during quarantine. And make sure I can come around for Noki once all this is over, please. Have Thank you so night. much. Have a great evening. Thanks, Louise. Join us next time on the show when Formula E racing driver Lucas Degrassi is in his element as he gets put to the speed test. You're watching Game On. Please subscribe, like, comment, follow, and share. I feel like you can nail people, nail people, nail people.